All right, King, great job. Great yeah. job. He's got a big time newscaster name, doesn't he? He does. King Roland. He could come and take my spot. We're, about, mean... we're about the same height as we've learned. It takes me a ladder to get up on this. Yeah, this they can be seat. tough. They can You're be tough. You're tall, Betsy's tall, yeah. Jason's tall. You got to be at least 6'3 to be on this show. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I think so, I, I'm missing by about a foot here. Um, uh, hey, Jace. I, <laughs> how are you guys? I said I was going to put you on the spot about oh, look, opening we're day. We're out there already. Are we? This better not be uh, next Friday's forecast. It, it, you know, wow, yeah, that I is do bouncing. have some good news about next Friday's forecast. Okay, good. you got to wait till the end of this. <laughs> All right, we'll wait with bated breath. <laughs> He's a breath. professional. Don't he knows nowhere. how to keep viewers. Don't go nowhere now. All right. Northeast Ohio, how are we doing? It is a Friday across the area. It is not our best Friday. No, it's not. But, you know, it could be a lot worse here. We've had mild temperatures to move in today. We've got some really sort of some passing clouds out there. Some scattered showers in some areas are trending on the light side, at least right now. But to a 53 degree temperature, this is what the average high temperatures are supposed to be like for this time of year. We have a warm front that is arriving across our area for the afternoon into the evening hours. And in fact, some areas could be touching on their warmest temperatures by the time we get to midnight tonight for several areas. But I think there's going to be a couple breaks where we really kind of go back into the 60s for tomorrow afternoon. So the mild temperatures are across the Ozarks. This is the center of that low circulation right now. 81 degrees now in Kansas City. And look at this, Lincoln, Nebraska, about 45. So between those two, it's only maybe about a couple hundred miles or so. So not too close, also not too far away. That is what the potency of this aerial low will do for us tomorrow. We're already expecting to see some gusts around 30 to 35 miles per hour. However, at times tomorrow, we could exceed 40 miles per hour. Look at that, a 32 mile per hour sustained wind next to a 45 mile per hour gust of wind and even near 50 degrees. So we're doing it again, similar to what we had last Saturday. However, I don't think we'll meet that 60 and perhaps even 70 mile per hour threshold like we had in some areas last week. So here's what it looks like for you today. This is our severe weather outlook for our Friday. So this is sort of the bullseye area that we're watching here. And there's a second one down in the mid Mississippi River Valley area. So this is mainly towards Arkansas, Tennessee, as well as Mississippi. That energy and that strength is not expected to move into the Buckeye State. For us, we'll be on the low level in terms of our severe weather outlook for you tomorrow. But there still could be likely some strong storms that moves through. So this is what it looks like in terms of the region right now. The frontal boundary is still well off towards the west. We got a lot of cold air that is going be riding right into the mix of that. So let's dive right into the big picture and show you exactly what that looks like here as it unfolds. For the rest of the evening, the low moves closer. The warm front moves north of us. We begin with some light to scattered showers and perhaps even sometimes you can hear a couple rumbles of thunder for overnight as well as in early morning hours for us tomorrow once we get past sunrise. The frontal boundary will be passing mid to late morning hours and we'll see our temperatures fall 50s, getting back into the 40s, and eventually once the low passes, Saturday night into Sunday, we could have a couple areas of rain, snow mixing on in as temperatures fall into the upper 20s and perhaps even low 30s. Now, here's your Union Home Mortgage 7 a outlook. Thunderstorms will be likely tomorrow. We cut our temperatures back upper 20s to low 30s, waking up on Sunday morning near mild temperatures in the afternoon. And look at this, 60s with rain chances returning. This is our next system we're watching in a week. But by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, sunshine for our guards for opening day right here in the CLE next Friday. Oh, that'll be perfect. We'll get our sweatshirts out for sure. Mm -hmm. Jason, thank you. You're welcome.